So over here you can see that I have some video footages on my timeline and if I were to go ahead and add in effects, let's say for example Cyberpunk, then you can see that I got a look right here just like this. So I'm just going to go around and apply Cyberpunk on all of the, these footage right here. So I can go around and then add in more effects over here as well. Let's say for example Transition, I can go around into Included and add in let's say for example Erase right here. So I got a transition just like this. So now, uh, as you keep on adding transitions and then effects, what happens is that uh, the video tends to get slow. And if you want to see a preview on how it'll actually look and you want to have a smooth uh, render preview right here, then you can go to file and then uh, click on render preview. If uh, you have not enabled render preview or like if you have not done the re render preview yet, then above the video footage, as you can see, you see like a red bar right here. So the red means it is not rendered yet. So to render it out, you can go to file and then click on render preview. And what it does is that it renders out a preview of the file just like this, as you can see. So depending on your computer speed, uh, uh, this might take a while and it is normal and as it renders out you can see that the red uh, bar turns into green bar just like this. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and you can see now that it is complete. So if I were to play this now what happens is that the video playback becomes much more smoother. But if I were to go ahead and make a bit of changes right here, let's say for example if I were to add in another bit of effect you can see that this is how it actually looks. So you can see that now this part has not been rendered yet. So to render that out again, you go to file and then you click on render preview and shortcut for this is simply the return key or the enter key. So once you press enter, this is how it actually looks. And if you were to make any changes, the part where there's uh, no rendering, it'll actually show uh, red. So I can go around over here and then you can see that I can also delete the uh, preview render file. So if I want to start fresh, I can simply go over here and click on this and the render preview for everything uh, just gets deleted like uh, just like that. So you can go around and then edit it further and then enable render preview uh, later on again. And that is how you can work around with render preview and delete the render preview inside of Filmora. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.